Hey guys, so for this lesson we're going to be learning about quadratic equations um, and we're going to take what we did in the last lesson about factoring and then use that in order to solve equations. So we're going to be answering the question, what are the solutions of quadratic equations and how does factoring help us solve these equations? So we're going to solve by factoring and then also by graphing. So for our vocab, uh, wherever the graph of a function, f of x, intersects the x-axis, um, that's where we get our solutions. It's called a zero function, and those are our answers um, for our solutions. Uh, you can solve some quadratic equations in standard form by factoring and then using the zero product property, which means anything times um, zero must equal zero. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with solving. So hopefully you remember how to factor, which is what we just did um, for the homework today. What are the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared minus 5x plus 6? Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to factor. Um, so we need factors of 6. Um, so we have 2 and 3, or 1 and 6. We know our signs are the same. They're both negative, and they have to add up to be 5. Um, so negative 2 and negative 3 makes negative 5. So this is factors as x minus 2 and x minus 3 equals 0. So the zero product property says you can set each one of these solutions equal to 0. So x minus 2 equals 0. And then also um, x minus 3 equals 0. Then to solve this one, you would add 3. So x equals 3 is one of your solutions. And for the other one, you would add 2. So x equals 2 is your other solution. So what that means is um, when we graph it on the x-y axis, where it crosses is at the point 2 and at the point 3. Um, and we know that it opens up, so it's going to look something like that. Um, and then for this one at the bottom, x squared minus 7x equals negative 12. Um, obviously, this does not equal 0. So to use a zero product's property, you would have to add 12 to both sides. And then factor x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. What are my factors of positive 12 that add up to be negative 7? Well, that's x minus 6 and x minus 2. Set each one of those equal to 0. So x equals 6 and x equals 2 are your solutions. Um, you can also use t the table features um, in your graphing calculator. Um, when you have something like this, always make it equal to 0 on one side because that's what you're going to put as your y equals. So we're going to go ahead and um, subtract 2 and add 2x to both sides. So you get 5x squared um, that's a plus 2. Plus 32x plus 12 equals 0. And then you can go ahead and make this 0 be your y1, and you can put this equation into your calculator. Um, and then you just select the table features, and then you look through until you find x is 0, and you find what your y values are. Um, so go ahead and plug that in, and then look through and see if you can find um, what your y values are when x is 0, or when y is 0. x is negative 6. And the second one is in between 0 and 1, so you can change your intervals. And you do that by going to second window. That's your table set. Um, and it asks you that the first one is table start. That's um, where your values start. And then the second one is that little triangle table, change table. If you change it to put point 0.1 in, then you can look and see um, as you get closer and closer. Um, so go ahead and try this one using your table feature. Um, this one is not as nice um, as just solving using um, factoring because it requires you to like go and look and see where your values change because not all our answers are nice answers. Okay, and then uh, also solving by graphing. In order to graph, it has to be in standard form, so you're going to subtract 15 from both sides. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to put that into our y1 in your calculator, and then go ahead and graph it. So go ahead and do that and see what it looks like. All right, once you have that graph, um, 
Once you go to the calc feature, so hit second calc, the second one down says zero. And if you click on that, it's going to ask you for um, a left bound and a right bound. So you're going to go along your x-axis um, and you're going to make the little blinky box thing be on the left side of where it crosses the x-axis and hit enter. And then go on the right side and hit enter again. And I get um, the one that's on the left is at negative five zero. And then if you go ahead and do that again on the right side, keep going, there we go, on the left side and then on the right side again of that x value, I get 1.50. Um, so negative 5 and 1.5 and are my solutions. Okay, and then you can go ahead and try it with this one, see how that goes. Um, we're also going to use the quadratic equation. Hopefully you remember what that is. Um, I did it right on here. Okay, when we did it in Algebra 1, um, or last year when we talked about it in geometry, we sang it to a song that x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And remember that your a, your b, and your c... Um, are from your standard form. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It's just the numbers, not the x. So when you um, plug in your a, your b, and your c into the quadratic formula, um, you just pick the number that's in front of the variable. So a is just the number in front of x squared. b is just the number in front of x, and c is just the number that's by itself. Um, so here you go. So there's your equation. You want to model the height um, where x is distance in feet. So go ahead and plug in those numbers. So b is negative 0.59 plus or minus the square root of 0.59 squared minus 4 times a times c is 0. So that's going to cancel over 2 times negative point zero two nine and then you go ahead and simplify that so when I simplified one of my answers I got is zero well obviously the frog is going to start at zero and then it's going to jump and make that parabolic curve um, and then it's going to land about 20 feet away all right and that concludes this lesson. Hope you had fun. I know I did. Parabolas are the best.